Hello friends and welcome back to our homestead. Today I'm going to be making my version of cold and cough syrup. Right now something's going on in the environment and everyone is coughing and coughing forever. So I ran out of my cough syrup is empty so I need to make more. I'm going to be making more and it's going to be my version of all of my herbs that I have here to make cough cold syrup. Now a quick disclaimer. If you have any allergies or pregnant, uh, breastfeeding, or any limit health limitations, or if you're taking any medications that may interfere with any of these herbs, they're gonna be included in my cough syrup. Please talk to your doctor, make sure it's safe for you. All right, so I'm going to start by some ginger. And um, ginger, it's, it's clean, I'm not gonna peel it, I'm just gonna chop it into small pieces. And I'm going to use probably about a size, like size of a thumb like this, because I don't want to make this extra, extra, super spicy. Okay. But I do want to bring some natural heat that is going to be nice and warming because ginger is a warming herb. Okay. And it's going to be, I'm just chopping it so more surface area is exposed. And I'm going to be putting this all into a a medium sized pot because everything is going to go on the stove. Okay. So to this, I'm also going to be adding about one third, one fourth to one third of pine needles. It's very difficult to measure pine needles. So I am guesstimating how many pine needles. Pine needles are very high in vitamin C and it's going to be very good immune boosting when someone is dealing with anything viral. When viral infections are going on, our systems need to be flooded with vitamin C to give every fighting chance to fight infections. All right, so I'm just gonna be putting all, everything in here. Let me put a little bit more because I don't think that's enough. All right, so I'm gonna be adding more in here. That looks about right. Okay, next. The next I'm gonna be putting the wild cherry bark and wild cherry bark is often used in in any recipe when it involves cough because wild cherry helps to fight that dry spasmatic cough and it's often paired up with pine needles all right the next i'm going to be putting thyme and thyme is also used in cough medicines and it's good antimicrobial agent. So I'm going to be putting about one third of a cup as well. Okay. I'm going to be also adding some mint. I don't have a lot of mint, so I'm just going to use everything that I have, but I think it's going to be close to one third of a cup as well. All right. Mint is also going to be very helpful when it comes to um, opening up airways. Astragalus root. Astragalus root is also a very strong ally when it comes to treating upper respiratory, okay? And um, antimicrobial also, but very good for respiratory health. Next is licorice root, and licorice root is gonna coat your throat and it's gonna make you feel much better. Notice that I'm pretty much using the same measurements for all of, the, um, for all of these herbs. I have rose hips. Rose hips are also very high, oops, very high in vitamin C, and that's why rose hips are here. Plus, it's going to add nice little color and taste. Fennel seed. Fennel seed is also going to be, oh, it's sealed up. Also very good for respiratory and for for your lungs. It's a bronchodilator. I always put down the date when this been going in the storage because herbs are good for about a couple of years and that's it. So this one is from 2022. So by the end of this year, this summer, I have to get more. Mullen, I have dry mullen and also I'm gonna be putting that as well because, come on out guy, come on out. It's stuck on the bottom because it's really good as an anti, um, is to fight phlegm, okay? It's gonna help to thin out any phlegm. Come on, it's stuck in there. All right, that should be enough. All right, 
So Molin has, it's really good for cold, for, um, for uh, asthma, for that sort of thing. Also, I'm gonna be adding some elderberries, okay? And I have elderberries, and again, pretty much the same amount as um, other herbs. I'm gonna be putting it in here, a little bit more. All right, that looks about right. Now, all right, so I have a large pot with all of my herbs here. And to this, I'm gonna be adding four cups of clean water. I'm not using tap water because tap water has things that I do not want. This is well water. So um, make sure that it's filtered clean water. And now it's gonna go on a stove and I'm gonna start cooking it, simmering it slowly. All right, so it's on a stove. I'm gonna make sure that it comes to nice boil and I'm gonna turn down the heat and I'm gonna allow this to simmer nice and slow, okay? And it's gonna simmer for about half an hour, all right? And I'm gonna notice that all of these liquids are going to reduce by half. I wanna say it's gonna be reduced by half because remember, all of these herbs are going to absorb a lot of liquid, okay? So um, that's why it's going to really, really decrease in the amount of liquid in here. And then after half an hour, we will strain this bad boy and it's gonna be delicious, delicious, yet very medicinal cough and cold syrup. All right, I think it reduced by half. It changed this to this beautiful, rich burgundy color because of all of the herbs in here and rose hips. All right, so now I'm gonna be straining it in, back into my container. All right, so I have to be very careful because it's very hot and the amount of liquid is definitely reduced. I'm gonna try to squeeze and get most of it out the best I can, okay? Because it's a lot of goodness in here. I've decided to put in a larger sieve with some um, cheese cloth on the bottom and squeeze some of extra liquid that is in here. Because I wanna make sure that everything comes out as much as I can. Because remember all those dried herbs and rose hips absorbed a lot of liquid. And I wanna make sure that they give it back to me. Because it's all that goodness is there. So I'm gonna be gonna squeeze it for a few minutes just like this takes a little patience, but it's all right. It's gonna be good, delicious syrup. Normally, most syrups, cough syrups, have a lot of honey in them, and it's usually one to one of liquid to honey. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just add a little bit, and I'm talking about a little bit. So for the two cups of liquid that I have right now, because it's already so sweet with licorice roots, I'm just gonna be adding one quarter of a cup, maybe one third of a cup of honey, and that's it. So I'm not gonna be using one to one and not even a half to one. I'm gonna put a whole lot less because there's really no need because it's already super sweet. Now, many cough syrups will have a little brandy added to it okay because brandy helps to relax and kind of fall asleep i'm not going to do that i'm going to keep it without alcohol but you might want to decide to add some it's really you know up to you now some of the ingredients that i have in this cough syrup is definitely not for the people who are pregnant um, or breastfeeding women is not a good idea so please always check with your healthcare provider to see if it's safe for you and do your own research. Remember, we have to be responsible for what we're doing and we can't always rely what is on a shelf of our pharmacy stores because, you know, today it's open, tomorrow it may not be. So this knowledge is very important. So have some dried herbs, store them away. They're good for two, three years and make your own home medicine, all right? So let's wait for that syrup to cool off, that liquid that's gonna be in the syrup to cool off a little bit. All right, so this cooled off nicely 
and I'm going to be pouring it now into my container. All right, here it is. And to that, I'm going to be adding about a quarter of a cup of good, thick, homegrown honey. Okay, about a quarter of a cup, maybe a little bit more. Okay, and again, it's not to make it sweet. It's basically to allow the medicinal properties of honey to be in here. Okay, so now I'm gonna mix it all. I'm gonna label it and I'm gonna keep it in the fridge. Why in the fridge? Because it doesn't have any preservatives in it. It does not have any preservatives in it. So I'm gonna make sure it's all mixed in and I'm gonna make sure that I label this with all the ingredients and uh, when I made it. And it's gonna sit in my fridge for at least a month, I wanna say three, four weeks, and we're gonna be using it as needed, okay? And it's gonna sit in the fridge just like this. Okay, friends, I hope you are encouraged to learn more about homemade medicines. And this is one of them, homemade cough syrup. I wish you all health and um, be encouraged and try something new.